And then there's another thing you've, you've said that um, so the diversity of people you mixed with in this phase uh, aroused your sort of curiosity. I mean, could you explain about that? Well, I don't know how to say much more, but you were thrown up against people in very close contact. And in the group that I was in, that came from my regiment in Britain, and we'd all been taken prisoners together. There was Frank Fisher, who was up here at the same time as I was, but he was from Repton, where his father, the Archbishop, was headmaster. There was Miss Dorian, who came, who was working in the theatre, but came from a military family. And the fourth member was somebody, Edward, who was a butcher in South London, but had, uh, had been promoted to the ranks to be an officer. So you were with a lot of different people. When I escaped, which I escaped for six months, even more so, I mean, I was in a cave with, with them first of all, and later on with some South, South Africans and others. Um, two guys who I think were not in from miners. But anyhow, people who were uh, in a completely different way of life than you had been. Because all the, t- the things that I've been describing to you, mm. you know, school, university, you were simply somebody concerned with books and books and books. You weren't concerned with doing things, like cutting up meat or uh, even acting on stage. So it's a very different in that way. So I think you met a lot of people with a lot of different experiences. And particularly, as I say, many of the people in my, in my regiment that I met then and afterward were not English miners who joined the regular army because they were out of a job. And, uh, and this was the sort of person that, that you were meeting.